opening that necklace. Oh, it is a horse. That's it is beautiful. a horse. It's an opal horse from Australia. Ooh, yeah, that's beautiful. beautiful. I, know. I just love the simplicity of it, the design. That's Thank very nice you. whoever created that. So we were talking about Christmas. So any big plans for you for Christmas? You have a big family. I have a big family. Yeah. Every year we do this ugly sweater Christmas competition, which we're prepping yes. for right now. Oh, oh my God. Awesome. I just so love that your brutal. family competes. I love they them compete already. They compete hardcore. Yeah. So you go to the 99 cent store, you buy as much ugly stuff as you can Good. find. Filter, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> or, and you make your sweaters. You're not allowed to buy them. They can't be like the pre-done kind of. Yeah. You mean like knit ones. them? Or you can act. No, you're right. Okay. <laughs> you can That's going to take scratch. a long time. Oh, wow. My eight year old like, like Michael's knitting. or, yeah, or jo yeah, Joanne's and donuts. You get like a bad yeah. sort of sweater that you can hot glue gun and yeah. off you go. And um, all ages compete. And we have people over. And there's cash prizes to make it more brutal. Ooh. I love your life. Oh, but my kids, I cry if I don't win. I actually have <laughs> some of the sweaters from last year. Oh my God, wait, I heard about this. I want to see them. Wait, Justin has what? them. Oh, so look. these are some okay. of your, <laughs> wait, so let's see your, I love it. Here's the thing, I'm not going to tell you which is mine, but I lost last year and I cried. I drank a bottle of vodka and I was very upset. My, oh I was my God. Out. So I just, if you guys want to choose which one you think should have won, okay. then we'll see. We're picking no the pressure. best one or we're picking the, the ugliest the, one? It's like the best ugly Christmas sweater. Okay. So like the one you would wear or the one you the like? The one that like, you would no. never ever okay. wear. Okay. Like the, like. That's the one I want to okay. wear. I might yeah. want to wear them all though. So, I know, okay. I know. And they flash, like you can buy okay. all kinds of, okay, so this I, one is obviously pretty great. great. This is pretty great. That's I love that. that and you're present yourself. And he's on the back. Oh. And a bird? Look, two birds on the oh shoulders. God. It's a little yeah. couture. Okay, okay, see how you're selling this one? Okay, okay. okay. Now this one. <laughs> Don't look too closely. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> um. A favorite. <laughs> I already picked my favorite. Oh, okay. That's amazing. Now, I have this. This is a bit heavier. Oh, okay, you. of course. I love I this. This, here? this has detail and I'm not a, I'm, my a lot of effort went into this sweater. Wearing. Can I stand yes. up? Yes. Can I, you can there's a whole one. thing to this. Santa, stop here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. There's his house. Yes. There's a real Santa. It jingles. Yes. It jingles. It jingles. I see how you're selling this one. I feel uh, like she's really selling this one. I feel like this one might be hers. <laughs> <laughs> Here's it's the comes. reason why I, I didn't think this was going to be beat until Santa <laughs> stopped there. <laughs> <laughs> Which would you pick? I think I think the first one, maybe. OK. I'm picking Partial Santa Partial to the birds on the shoulder. <laughs> One and then Gus. I do like the, yeah, the very Gus, the, your eight year old. Gus. Oh my god, really? He made this one. That's great. He has no, got skills. He doesn't get to win because he's eight. No, no, I, I wasn't saying because he's eight. I actually like, I'm impressed that he's yeah. eight. That's like, I mean, that's a I lot might of gluing. Have, I might have helped. You might have helped. Okay, I was like, <laughs> I was like, the, the fact that so you can trust actually your kid with a glue gun, gun. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Daughters um, are named after flowers. My daughter's River Rose. Yes, is Lila Rose. Lila Rose. Is Ro Rose in my family was because it was a family, it was uh, in their family. Ours, we, we know people with the name, and I always have loved people with that name, and yeah. it just flowed beautifully. So it's a beautiful yeah. The first name we didn't have for a while, but we had that part. Set. Okay. Yeah, and then right Lady at Kinko's beautiful. gave us ideas for names, <laughs> and we picked that one. That's incredible. Yeah. How did it was and your your daughter's name? Violet. Violet, I love that. Grace. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then all the girls in my family are flowers. So we have oh. Rosie Thorn, Daisy Yellow, Marigold Sun, Lily Bell, and I'm Poppy Petal. Do wow. your parents yeah. like marijuana? Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> we asked that. We're like, my brother's name is I'm Jethro. Just Cole. throwing it out there. Yes. Just throwing it out there. I was like, were you high? Were you yeah. tripping? And not that many times. She had all the baby. babies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not too many times. <laughs> not while pregnant. No, I just love that. That's a, that's awesome. I'm obsessed with plants and flowers. My kids actually hate them because I love them so much. Right. Yeah. They're like it's, that in books. They're like, ah. Oh. Thank yeah. you. Not one of my, my favorite. Nope, yeah. None of them read. Oh, they read. Well, not I by make, choice. No, not by choice. <laughs> it's forced family fun at our house. Um, yeah. <laughs> so any boys in your family named after flowers? No. So, no, I, you know, it's interesting because we're always working on the name thing. I have five kids. Yeah. And um, 
That's a lot. Do you have wow. a glass wow. of wine? I, or... I drink How did you have time. any time for these sweaters? <laughs> That's why That's I came what up with it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get you. This is something we can do as a family. <laughs> but of course, um, family fun. My son, Jackson, his last name is Kaufman. He's got a different dad than my other kids. Yeah. Long story. When I was about to ha give birth to him, we revealed his name to his grandparents and we said, yeah. you know, we're gonna call him Jack. Cute and name. Cute name, love yes. Jack, simple, classic. Yeah. And his grandfather, Harvey, was like, you can't call that kid Jack. And I was like, why? What? And he said his last name is Kaufman. And I was like, so? And he said, say Jack Kaufman three times fast. Oh. Jack Kaufman, oh. Kaufman, Jack Kaufman, Jack Kaufman. Santa, stop here. Santa, stop here. <laughs> so what? I was Jack? like, what's wrong with Jack Kaufman? Jack Kaufman. Oh my God. He's gonna kill me for I telling I truly me. love your family. <laughs> it's like one oh. like, mishap after another. I was like, I didn't mean to call you Jack Kaufman. I just, oh my God. So I didn't have much time because it was a scheduled C-section. And yeah. I just said, let's just call him Jackson. And no one can shorten his name ever. Yeah. That's it. It's Jackson's Jackson. cute. Mm -hmm. And Jackson's cute. We yeah. like Jackson. Um, but no one's allowed to call him Jack. It's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now that you've said it aloud, and I did as well. No. Um, <laughs> Three times fast. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, Christmas on the farm. So it's actually based on something that happened to you, right? Yes, my mother passed away unexpectedly in 2019. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Yeah, it was very jarring, and I... She went out to feed the horses and died. <laughs> so it's a cheerful yeah. Christmas movie premise already. I'm like, well, yeah. but I inherited a farm in Australia and uh, came up with this idea of, I wanted to do a movie that was a tribute to her and the farm that I inherited that I don't know how to exist on. I mean, animals hate me. Oh, you're like me. more city. Oh my God, like. I'm opposite. Okay. I would love your farm. We could switch because yeah. it's like city mouse and country mouse. I was like, every time I go to the farm, the horse, we have horses, Captain and Tennille. They bite me. Oh. Gregory Peck, our chicken rooster. Yeah, yeah I was going <laughs> Yeah, Gregory Peck grunting. pecks me. Yeah. So I put it all into this movie and it, it became about my mom. It's a Christmas movie that starts with a funeral, but it's actually quite funny and charming. <laughs> it really is. I love wow. that you led, with the, that it's it's a Christmas movie that starts with a funeral. I just don't want anyone to be thrown when they no. start watching and it's like, oh, it's you a know Christmas what, though? movie. It, that's real, though. Things happen yeah. or even people experiencing Christmas. Like, I know people that even this Christmas, this will be their first Christmas without a loved one that they've right. had in their life. That's a real thing real that thing. happens and it's relatable. It is. And yeah. I was like, you know, for people who have lost someone at Christmas, we are sort of representing that in this film. Plus we show what an Australian Christmas looks like. Yeah. <laughs>